Once in a while, in the middle of an ordinary life, love brings us a fairy tale. Amber, you came into this world in a big way. She didn't have a name for a few days, as her dad wanted to call her Amber, and I wanted to call her Ebony. Her papa, who is in heaven watching down on us today, he actually named her. He looked at the two of us and asked us to stop arguing. He said, why don't you call her Amber? Amber Rose Rogers. I love that name the first time I heard it, and I love it still. As I look at my daughter, I can't but all reflect all the years I was lucky enough to watch her grow and become the beautiful woman she has today. She is beautiful, loving, smart, generous, strong, and kind. As a child, Ember loved collecting rocks from wherever we traveled. She found a solid rock. He sits right here, his name is Tyrone. Tyrone, welcome to the family. I knew you were a great guy and a great match for my daughter, Ember. There's always been a sparkle in Ember's eye and today I see the love and joy in her big blue eyes. Love. It's the reason we're all here today. Sooner or later we begin to understand that love is more than verses on Valentine's and romance in the movies. We begin to know that love is here and now, real and true, the most important thing in our lives. We are gathered together to witness the exchange of vows between Ember and Tyrone, who especially on this day are a prime example of how happy two people can really be together. Today, your wedding day is one brief day in time, and although your vows are spoken in a matter of minutes, their promises that will last a lifetime. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ember Rose, I've loved you for so long. I've envisioned our lives together, the love and happiness, the peace and tranquility, I saw in you something that can only be described as serenity. You stirred something in me. I feel destiny when you're close, and when I look at you, my whole body falls weak from the heart out. <laughs> when we started dating, I sent you many love notes. <laughs> love scrolls, actually. I'd like to share one with everybody here today. It's written by Shel Silverstein. It goes like this. She had blue skin, and so did he. He kept it hid, and so did she. They searched for blue their whole life through, then passed right by, and never knew. But I knew. I knew from the start I wanted you at the end, and I'd have given anything to see today a reality. I once told you in pen that life is a journey and like any good book, it's not the destination that moves you, but all the pages in between. It's the story. I still believe that, and I cannot wait to start the next chapter in our story. Our marriage. What a great compliment to our home, our puppies, our love, and soon our children. You make me happy, and I want to walk with you in this life, regardless of the destination, regardless of the consequences, because it's our journey that matters our love for each other, and our love for the little things in life. Little things like our kitchen herbs. <laughs> I love our kitchen herbs. <laughs> I love our puppies, Pete's. Pete's are paw feet. Puppies have Pete's, not feet. I love the aspirations we both share. 
I love when you leave me sweet notes, and I love when we giggle at inside jokes. You're my favorite company. I cannot imagine a more perfect, gifted, considerate, compassionate, and loving mother for our children to come. You honestly amaze me with your virtues. You are the best part of every part of this world. I am so grateful to stand here with you today. I promise to love you unconditionally, especially when times get rough, as you've always done for me. I promise to aspire to be the man you deserve, the man you envisioned, the one you would want to walk with side by side in this life. And I promise to always stand by you no matter where life takes us, because I know that by your side I'll always find love, peace, and happiness. Until the time comes when time is no more, I will love you, Emperor Ruffs. Tyrone, I stand here today nervous, incredibly happy, a little thirsty, very pregnant, and extremely excited. Most importantly, I stand here in front of you who, after today, I get to call my husband. I would never have imagined our first date book exchange would bring us here today. That date marked the beginning of our story together, and I will forever be grateful for your perseverance, determination, and belief that we were meant for each other. Before you were in my life, Ty, I had never experienced the type of love that you had to offer me. It was unwavering and fierce, and it being so incredibly unfamiliar, I felt that I wasn't deserving of it. You were convinced our story didn't end where it started, that there were pages to be written and chapters to be penned before you would even consider giving up. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness, for your patience with me, and being a safe place for me to call home. I promise to keep myself open to you, to let you see through to the core of me, to share my fears, feelings, I have lots of those, secrets and dreams. <laughs> I promise to encourage you to always try new things and be respectful of your unique talents, abilities and quirks, for this is the part of you that shines the brightest and the part of you that keeps me on my toes. I promise to love your family as if they were my own, to have open and honest communication with you, to put the toothpaste lid back on more often than not, <laughs> and to recognize that when we're starting to disagree, to move on, as it is most likely just the hunger talking. I promise to provide a loving home for our growing family, to navigate our next chapter in parenthood beside you as your partner, and to have our parents on speed dial because we both know it's going to take a village. And as the years go by and we grow older, I promise to not take for granted our laugh lines, for they will be our physical proof of a life well lived. Thank you for choosing me to walk beside you in this life and into the next. I love you, Ted. Emperor Tyrone, on behalf of all those present and by the power vested in me by the province of Manitoba, I'm honored to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> I would invite you to share your first kiss as husband and wife. Ember, doth thee solemnly declare thy above noted qualities do truth represent in the man beset before thee, known as Tyrone the Dewey Fiddler, and therefore doth thou proclaim acceptance of the sovereign title, Princess Ember of the Prairies, on this magical day, the 12th of July, 2019. Well, she's signing it. Ember. Little dolls grow up to be beautiful girls like you. But the ones that grow up to be swans are very few. Little girls take no time in becoming princesses vain, but you have never let your dignity wane. Graceful and intelligent you have grown up to be. I love you for what you are and what you can be. I love you for the potential in you that I can see. I love you for standing up for what you believe in. I love the way you trust your voice from within. And I love you for being you. And I love you for. Ember, our gift to you was raising the man of your dreams. Your gift to us is being the daughter we never had. We love you so very much. I thank you, Ember, for the happiness you have brought us all in loving Tyrone. 
and I thank you for the future happiness that you are carrying. in a while, in the middle of an ordinary life, love brings us a fairy tale. Please raise your glass and grog one final time and join us in wishing our charming little prince and his lovely princess bride a life that will be lived happily ever after. <laughs> 